Today we're at Treasure Hunt Antique Mall. This is the antique mall in Powder Springs, Georgia where we have three booths currently and we've just added a fourth one. Today we're going to be setting up our fourth booth and then I'll give you a brief booth tour of all of our units. a tour our now four booths here at Treasure Hunt Antique Mall. This is booth A9 and this has in the past been mostly kitchenware, crafting items and things such as that. Right now all of our booths are a little uh, disjointed and empty and that's purposeful in many ways because we are about to completely demolish this booth and put Christmas stuff in it which we will definitely do a video of that as well but every year in October November and December we turn this booth into our Christmas booth but as you can see we just have a wide variety of things in here more and more focus on kitchenware and things like that um, let's see here Saw a lot of the Pyrex and the vision wear, corning wear, things like that. I love this basket. This is something we actually picked up especially for the booth. We don't do that very often. Most of our items come from storage. Same with these chicken canisters. That's a personal favorite of mine. I have a thing for chickens. For four years now. Four yes, years, we've had for those we've had those chickens in the booth for a long time. Usually we don't keep things around that long. This is a Coke cooler. Brian got that one for us, but now that it's getting out of the season, I'm ready for that to go. That's a beautiful hall tree. I've had a lot of interest in it, but just haven't quite sold it yet. This is our next booth. This is on the G aisle. It's G9 and G10. It's actually a double booth and it is our biggest unit. This is, it's always kind of been a hodgepodge booth. This is our slot machine. It's super cool. It actually works. It takes tokens. If you happen to be in the market for a slot machine, it is awesome. But yeah, this is our hodgepodge booth. It doesn't really have a theme, but we always have cool stuff in there. This shelf is a lot of pewter and brass on this shelf. Just odds and ends. Love this little piggy display here. Got a teapot and cups and salt and pepper shaker. And this 
is a hippo, which we think little Jack looks just like a hippo, so. One thing about this particular booth is this is where we always put our jewelry. I saw quite a lot of jewelry individually and I mark jewelry jars just of assorted jewelry. It's I have these smaller jars where I put wearable jewelry and then the bigger jars are for crafting for people who do crafts using jewelry and things like that. Um, just all sorts of goodies here <laughs> and here I am knocking things down. We have all of our Halloween and fall decor on this shelf here. We don't have quite as much of that as we do of Christmas. We can fill a full booth with Christmas stuff twice over, but Halloween and fall, we just get some little odds and ends. Cute things. Love this pumpkin planner. Then up front here, we have a toy workbench that I am just trying to sell for $5. Please get it out of my life. And for daddy, there's a full size tool bench. This piggy in the floor. And this is booth G9 and G10. All right, this is our e-booth. This is more of our media, kids-friendly, sports, memorabilia, this type. I sell the, the CDs uh, or DVDs and video games. Most of them are $2. Uh, if they're new, they can be up to five to three, and I just rotate them through. I do have dates on them, so I know how long they've been in here, and after they've been in here for about a year, I take them out, and then I'll just put them in a, in a, uh, give them to Goodwill or something like that. Um, we got CDs over here. Uh, some more video games, CDs I sell for a dollar. Uh, books down there on the bottom, cassettes, things like that. As you can tell, it's a media uh, themed one. one. A couple of our favorite things, the uh, Pogues poster, that's a band, and our Elton John album that we have. We've had that for a while too. Um, comic books galore, uh, right there. We even have some on display. I did have a lot of banners. I got only two banners left now. Um, Marvin Williams uh, basketball uh, portrait, which is really, really super nice. Uh, records. I sell them anywhere from. A dollar fifty to five dollars. I don't have any in there over five dollars. Those are generally just things to see if we can move them. Yeah, you because know? uh, some posters, Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, two Snow White and Seven Dwarfs posters, baskets of Beanie Babies. The best way to get rid of them. Just put them in here for a dollar ninety-seven. Hopefully they move. We rotate them through. This is a Jerry Garcia blanket. It is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, they gotta fully see the, the blanket. All right, let's see. Let me take this off real quick. I love this blanket. I cannot believe it hasn't sold, but I think it's because nobody can really see it. We need to hang it on the wall, but finding that much wall space is a challenge. So we tried to put a metal tag on it. You can actually look at it. Got Legos by the bag. And these are like educational blocks here. Posters, which also do better when you can display them, but we have so many posters that we have to just put some of them in like this. And they sell slowly, but they sell. And that yeah. is our this booth E16 media. media, sports, kid stuff, etc. This is the booth that you just saw us putting together. We've kind of done this with more of an antique, vintage older theme with the exception of the Incredible Hulk who just decided to come hang out here.
anyhow, this is just more more of the older type stuff. Um, a lot of true antiques in here. Um, this radio. We just got this radio. This came out of the antique booth that we you saw the video on the knives on. This is a beautiful, beautiful radio that is just amazing. Got some milk glass, pewter, some really cool older older tools down there. This, I love this cast iron candelabra, but I don't particularly need a cast iron candelabra in my house, so I get to enjoy it here in my antique booth until it sells. This is a giant tin can of survival crackers. I made sure to mark on there that they're for collectible. The only I wouldn't recommend eating them. Cast iron pans and cast iron wall decor. An amazingly cool old sewing machine. I have no idea if this works. It's being sold untested, only $14.98, so trying to give someone a deal. This is something else. It's called the Watchmaster. It's a fairly rare piece of equipment that it's supposed to me measure how a mechanical watch is working. I don't know how useful that is, but for the right collector, I'm sure that's a cool piece. But this is our booth E, I think 17 and we're still working on it we're gonna bring some more items in next week and like I said we're gonna try to combine all the booths down to three and then we're gonna make E into a Christmas booth for, or A our A booth into a Christmas booth really soon